Now we are going to talk about the fourth topic of this moral issue series, and it is about abortion. We do not try to talk about the process of healing, but the moral implications of abortion. The Catechism of the Catholic Church says in the number 2270, from the first moment of his existence, a human being must be recognized as having the rights of a person, among which is the inviolable right of every innocent being to life. It's taken from the document Donum Vitae. And the book of Jeremiah in chapter 1 verse 5 says, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. It is scientifically proven that a new person with his or her own DNA is present at the very moment of conception. What is abortion? Abortion is the extermination of a human life inside the womb by a surgical procedure. Most of the time abortion is practiced because of the very difficult situation in which the woman is found at the moment of doing the abortion, though it would never justify the crime. Abortion in itself is a particular form of homicide, aggravated by the circumstances, first due to the assassinated subject, because the baby is the most defenseless creature, he cannot defend himself, also he will not be baptized. Second, due to the one responsible of the crime, which is the mother. There is no greatest human love in our nature than that of a mother for her son. And finally, due to the main executor, the doctors, whose profession and vocation is to defend life. Had to remember the Hippocratic Oath they take when, they, when the doctors graduate from school. It explicitly mentions against abortion. For all these reasons, the Second Vatican Council categorized it as an abominable offense. Pope John Paul II has referred to it, abortion, as an abominable crime, a humanity's shame. It is a bloodbath that our civilization is undergoing and it cries out to heaven. What are the moral consequences of abortion? First, an abortion is a mortal sin. And there are certain mortal sins that because of its intrinsic wickedness, the church gives them a canonical penalty called the second one, excommunication. So abortion is a mortal sin that also may imply excommunication. There are two ways to fall into excommunication that apply to abortion. One is the action of doing the abortion, procuring the abortion. The canon law says in number 1398, a person who procures a completed abortion incurs Elate sententia excommunication, an immediate excommunication. And the other is when a Catholic supports abortion as a right. Canon law says in the number 1364, without prejudice to the prescript of Canon 194, an apostate from the faith, a heretic or a schismatic, incurs a late sententia excommunication. In our case here would be an heretic. Any Catholic 
that claims the existence of a right to abortion incurs into excommunication for heresy, that is, for going against the truth of faith that clearly affirms that there is no right to murder the innocent. This is declared in the following text, St. John Paul II in Evangelium Vitae 62, says, given such unanimity in the doctrinal and disciplinary tradition of the Church, Pope Paul VI was able to declare that this tradition is unchanged and unchangeable. Therefore, by the authority which Christ conferred upon Peter and his successors in communion with the bishops, who on various occasions have condemned abortion, and who in the aforementioned consultation, albeit dispersed throughout the world, have shown unanimous agreement concerning this doctrine, I declare that direct abortion, that is, abortion willed as an end or as a means, always constitutes a grave moral disorder since it is the deliberate killing of, a, of an innocent human being. This doctrine is based upon the natural law and upon the written word of God, is transmitted by the church's tradition and taught by the ordinary and universal magisterium. End of quote. So, any Catholic that opposes this dogmatic declaration incurs in excommunication. But there are conditions that must be met in Canon 1323. The individual must be at least 16 years old. The individual must know that this action was a violation of church's law and that there was a penalty and the individual must have acted freely and not have acted mistakenly. The Catechism of the Catholic Church affirms in the number 2273 the ineligible right to life of every innocent human individual is a constitutive element of a civil society and its legislation. The inalienable rights of the person must be recognized and respected by civil society and the political authority. These human rights depend neither on single individuals nor on parents, nor do they represent a concession made by society and the state. They belong to human nature and are inherent in the person by virtue of the creative act from which the person took his origin. Among such fundamental rights, one should mention in this regard every human being's right to life and physical integrity from the moment of conception until death. It's taken from the document Donum Vitae number 3, from the Congregation of the Doctrine of the Faith. Finally, every civilization will undergo a judgment. That's why we need to publicly manifest that we do not accept abortion in order not to be a complice. <laughs> 